everyone is bowed down looking at their phones. And I bet some of us are on our phones. It's, it said that more connections are now happening online first before we meet physically. Is it true? This makes digital activism the most potential tool for engagement and generating important conversations. By meeting people where they are, digital platforms ensure that messages are seen and heard by those who matter most, either organically or through tagging. Finally, digital media is now a major source of entertainment. This dual role as a hub for both information and entertainment makes it a powerful platform for driving conversations. But let us now reflect on what digital activism has achieved for Kenya so that we utilize it effectively. The recent Gen Z-led protests have demonstrated the irrefutable power of digital activism. Through coordinated online efforts, we saw how digital platforms played a central role in locating many of the abducted protesters. The pressure mounted by relentless social media campaigns forced the abductors to release some of those captives. The, fact of, the matter of in issue now is that this act of solidarity and persistent online clamor not only saved lives, but also highlighted the effectiveness of digital activism in addressing urgent human rights issues. Digital activism was instrumental in, to the cry to the government to drop the contentional contentious Financial Bill 2024, which initially triggered the protests. This victory was a clear indication that when citizens unite online, their collective voice can influence policy decisions at the highest level. It showed that div digital activism can achieve more than raising awareness. It can achieve tangible outcomes. In an unprecedented move, Digital activism persuaded the president to engage directly with citizens on Twitter space. This trailblazing event marked the first time a sitting head of state in Africa participated in a live question and answer session with their citizens. It underscored the power of digital platforms in bridging the gap between leaders and the people that they serve ushering a new era of transparency and, at, and direct communication. Should this be a new platform to engage with your leaders? Should it? The ripple effects of Kenyan digital activism are already being felt through, across the continent. The impact is evident as youth in other African countries are inspired by the success of the Kenyan youth and are now using digital platforms to advocate for change in their own nations. Can we call it digital Africa rising? A shift is happening in the continent towards greater civic engagement and accountability. Public participation in governance will never be the same. Digital activism has revolutionized the way Kenyans engage in national discourse. It has provided us with a forum to voice our opinions, give feedback, and hold our leaders accountable. The new forum of public participation will ensure that every citizen, regardless of their physical location, can have a say in how they're governed. How do we as a country move forward, particularly with the question of digital activism? I think this is what we need to take home, at least if not for anything from this event. As we look to the future, it is clear that digital activism has proven its effectiveness in advocating for change and accountability. This new form of engagement is a powerful tool for peaceful protest. It does provide the citizenry with an effective means to express demands and aspiration. I believe we must embrace more digital activism as a necessity for it ensures our voices are heard, our concerns are addressed while minimizing loss of life and property. Given the successes that I've raised and talked about, we must adopt digital activism as a formal method of public participation. This will guarantee that Kenyans have a direct say to the management and future of our country by integrating digital platforms into our civic processes. We can drive a more inclusive and participatory democracy where every Kenyan, regardless of their age, gender, religion, or location, can contribute 
to the national decision-making process. Furthermore, digital activism, activism should be a tool for promoting peace and unity. In a country often divided by physical barriers and social barriers, tribe and religion, digital spaces offer a unique opportunity to connect, collaborate, and build bridges among communities. By engaging with other on users online as a tribeless citizens, we promote understanding, togetherness, and stimulate collective action towards common goals as Kenyans. In conclusion, I envision Kenya where every citizen actively participates in the decisions and management of our country. A nation where the rule of law is respected, justice prevails, and equity triumphs and accountability reigns. A country that works for every Kenyan and not just a few well-connected individuals. I'm strongly persuaded that digital activism can help us to march towards that dream. I encourage all Kenyans of goodwill to leverage these digital tools to make their voices heard, challenge injustices, and contribute to the betterment of our beloved motherland. To the young people of Kenya, I urge you to remain steadfast in your quest for a better Kenya. Your energy, creativity, and passion are driving forces behind this movement, and your continued engagement is vital for success. To our national government and county governments, I call on you to recognize the value of digital platforms as a tool for public engagement. Embrace these technologies to connect with citizens gather feedback and ensure that the governance is truly by the people and for the people. The Citizens Assembly will advocate for a national digital platform for public participation, and I hope the President of the Nation will embrace this to get feedback directly from his people and feedback on services that are offered. As the Law Society of Kenya, we, also, we will also continue to engage justice for victims improvement of some of the bare minimums that were raised by, through the Gen Z movement, also changes in the healthcare and education system, better governance and accountability. That we are open to, and we are open to bridging this conversation on what is next and how do we build our nation together. And finally, to all of us, I have a direct message. Engage with purpose, act with integrity, and use your voice. Drive positive change through digital activism. God bless you all, and God bless our country, Kenya. Beautiful, and I hope um, I get information even deeper from. Uh, I had a chance to interview her earlier.